Hey guys, today I'm going to continue with my series of Universal Parks and Resorts Hotels. Uh, today we are at Low Sapphire Falls, which is hands down my favorite Universal property. As you know, with the Universal Resorts, they all have a signature staircase. This is theirs and by far, I think the best one on property. The next few pictures are of Strong Water Tavern, which is their little bar that they have kind of off to the side in their uh, welcoming area and it had nothing but rave reviews. I've heard a lot of people say that they have some of the best drinks on property. I think my strong tie to this resort is the fact that my father does live in Puerto Rico and it does have a very Caribbean feel. The pool of all the pools seems the most relaxing. I believe it is one of the biggest pools on property. They also have a thousand rooms including 83 suites so the property is big. There's definitely a chance for you to get the room that you want there. They have lots of entertainment within the park, within the bars, within all these outdoor seating areas to have either a drink or an appetizer or something like that. I've also heard that the restaurant downstairs, the Amatista, I'm probably going to say that wrong, has some of the most authentic Caribbean style food. Also, the Dutch Trading Co., their little grab and go option, it is one of the cutest little pop-ins that I've seen in a resort. The rooms here are absolutely breathtaking. They do truly remind me of being in the Caribbean. The only thing that I can say within this resort that I wish that they had is I obviously wish that they had the unloaded express pass included. I think that that would be an asset to this resort. However, if you are going to a park and you're getting a three park, maybe buy two, get three day ticket, this would be the perfect place for you where you're going to have a more leisurely vacation and you can enjoy all the amenities that are here. This resort does feature a gym. It also features an arcade for the kids if that's something that you're interested in. The pool does have a slide and just like any of the Universal Resorts, make sure that you look for the cabana hut. They typically have complimentary water, sunscreen, diapers for the babies, things like that. Uh, they're super, super helpful and that's what I really love about the pools at Universal. And of course, you can pool hop if you decide to go to any of the different resorts. This again is that beautiful signature staircase. It's truly breathtaking. And then this piece is when you walk in and it is massive. I forget how big they said it was, but it is not a ton, but it's, it's a very, very heavy structure that they have here in the welcoming area when you come in. So next on this trip, we headed into Hard Rock. This is my very first time heading into Hard Rock and Hard Rock truly gives you that rock star, high end, very, very, um, rock star vibe as you walk in. You can go to pretty much any area of this hotel and see tons of very, very cool merchandise and uh, costumes and instruments and things that the celebrities have worn, used, etc. It's a it's a very cool place for somebody who you know has that interest in celebrities and music and things like that. As you can see, these are the hotel rooms. I mean, no detail is left forgotten. They have drumstick type, you know, art. If you look on the wall, this mirror shows kind of a ton of celebrities and how tall they are. Uh, the records on the wall. It was just a very, very, very cool, very themed room. Uh, and the size is pretty big. They do have a concierge level here. Uh, every day you can get some snacks and refreshments throughout the day. You can get the newspaper. There's tons of magazines. It was a definitely a nice, quiet, cool place to relax. And we definitely saw lots of families taking advantage. Here is their signature staircase. Um, to me, it looks like something that would be in a celebrity's home, uh, if that makes any sense at all. And this ice cream stand that was behind me smelled amazing. And then they have a very, very cool pool. Uh, I think that this would be good for somebody that is with teens. You can also rent instruments and use them during your stay. Make sure that when you check out, you give them you, the, your room key and you can actually have it stamped into a guitar pick, which is kind of cool. I gave that to my daughter as a souvenir whenever I return. This pool has the same amenities as the others where you can use their cabana for things that you need, forgot. You can actually rent private cabanas where you have a pool, you have the fan, uh, extra refreshments, things like that. And then there was tons of seating areas around this pool, which was kind of cool. And the kitchen, which is their famous restaurant, is also right around the corner. 
Uh, this seemed very, very cool. It seemed like there were celebrity chefs because you saw all of their chef coats and the desserts looked amazing. So with Hard Rock, you do get the Unlimited Express passes, which is a huge perk. Uh, again, here are the rooms at Sapphire Falls. You can see the difference of the resorts. They're two totally different resorts, which is kind of cool. I think these are both very high-end, high-level hotels, but the way that they are themed so differently, it just makes a truly different experience for both of the hotels. And then, of course, you have the water taxis and things like that. You can even take walking paths to get you to and from the parks or city walks. So those are my thoughts. I truly love both of these hotels. I still think Sapphire Falls is my favorite.